it's been rumored for some time that Kathleen Kennedy, president of Lucasfilm, is leaving Lucasfilm, Disney, Disney, Lucasfilm, whatever you want to call it. But yet, she's still there. Why is she still there, you might ask? Well, it's because Kathleen Kennedy doesn't want to leave until she gets a win, according to Entertainment Analyst. That Entertainment Analyst is Film Threat's Chris Gore, which if you have not checked out Film Threat, check it out. It's worth it. It's worth your time to check out their, their content, their live streams. Heck, even the, the website, check out the website. There's always little tidbits in there you can pick up. But before I dive too deep into this, I just want to thank everybody for taking the time out of their day to watch my videos. It's the best way to support my channel, support my endeavor here on YouTube and on Rumble. I'm also over on Rumble. And while you're at it, please take the time, leave a comment before you leave, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that uh, notification bell, and uh, like my videos. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump into this. Kathleen Kennedy apparently has something in common with much of the Star Wars fan base. She wants Kathleen Kennedy to leave Lucasfilm, but according to Film Threat's Chris Gore, she's only willing to walk out the door under one condition. What is that one condition? She wants to leave on the heels of a massive critical and commercial success. She wants a big win. She does not want to leave at a low point. She does not want to leave with Disney Lucasfilm at probably its lowest point ever. Because that would mean that her tenure at Disney Lucasfilm has been an abject failure. That's something Lucasfilm hasn't experienced in quite some time. Since Disney's initial acquisition of Lucasfilm in 2012, the company has been under the direction of film industry veteran Kathleen Kennedy. Back then, the longtime George Lucas and Steven Spielberg associate promised George that she would take care of his life's work. How's that working out for her? She has done anything but. Under Kennedy, the Star Wars franchise has gone from the most evergreen IP of all time to a sour note punching bag for YouTubers and streamers the world over. Kennedy presided over the deeply unpopular Star Wars sequel trilogy. That's the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy, which saw the deconstruction and eventual death of Han Solo and Luke Skywalker while pushing a younger and more diverse cast. She also oversaw Solo, a Star Wars story, which holds the distinction of being the first ever Star Wars film to lose money at the box office. When you couple that with the critical and commercial failures on Disney+, Plus, like recent the most recent one being the acolyte before that ahsoka before that obi-wan kenobi before that the book of boba fett it becomes clear that under kennedy's supervision star wars has fallen a long way from the powerhouse sci-fi franchise it once was i mean she was also in charge during the mandalorian and i would say the first two seasons of the Mad mandalorian were a success the third season not so much and then andor for the most part, people liked Andor. I never watched it myself. I had no interest in Andor. I thought it was going to be another uh, bomb like the Book of Boba Fett or Obi-Wan. But for the most part, Andor's gotten pretty good reviews from critics and fans both from what I've heard. You can correct me if I'm wrong with that down in the, down in the uh, chat. So that's just what I've heard. With every failed project and announcement that never ultimately sees the light of day, fans around the world ask a series of unifying questions. When will Kathleen Kennedy leave Star Wars? When will Disney fire Kathleen Kennedy? How does Kathleen Kennedy still have a job? People have to realize and understand that Kathleen Kennedy's going nowhere until she wants to go. And... According to Film Threat's Chris Gore, on a recent episode of The Pro Show with WW, WDW Pro, Kathleen Kennedy actually wants to leave Lucasfilm, but only under very specific circumstances. Apparently, this is from Star Wars Outlaws, like he's wearing a helmet. She backhands him barehanded, and that's a takedown. Does Stormtrooper armor do anything? 
That was a X post on August the 1st in regards to Star Wars Outlaws, which I guess is not very good. So getting back to Chris Gore's very specific circumstance, we've been hearing lately that Kathleen Kennedy is not very hands-on with Star Wars at this point. Hollywood scooper WDW Pro said to Chris Gore on a recent episode of his live stream YouTube show. Are you hearing anything similar that she may be operating in title only, at least for now? Gore then confirmed that he was hearing similar rumblings before dropping a bit more information. She wants to retire and leave. But she wants to do that on a win. Now, I'm going to steal a line here from Deadpool and Wolverine. And this is not a verbatim um, line, but there's a point in the movie where, actually twice, where Deadpool says, Disney's going to use him until he's 90. Well, at the rate Lucasfilm's going, Kathleen Kennedy's going to be around as president of Lucasfilm until she's 90. Because... I don't see Lucasfilm getting a win anytime soon. In fact, with the news that came out yesterday with Kevin Feige over at Marvel quietly terminating and firing SJWs, you know, producers and creatives that don't know anything about comics that would rather push the message than tell a story. Well, under Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, they're doubling down on that. That's why I don't see Lucasfilm getting a win anytime soon. Gore went on to say that in order to leave, Kathleen Kennedy wants a huge success that she can ride into retirement. This could be a smash hit television show or a major box office victory with a theatrical release. In other words, she wants to go out on a high note like George, Consta George Constanza on Seinfeld. <laughs> She's waiting to go out with a big win and she hasn't had one. It stands to reason that Kennedy would want to retire. She's 71 years old and has enjoyed a long and lucrative career in Hollywood. However, if recent projects are indicative of what the studio under her leadership is capable of, then we might be stuck with Kathleen Kennedy for a very long time. The Acolyte had an atrocious showing on Disney+, Plus, with an audience score on Rotten Tomatoes falling as low as 13%. Right now it sits at about 17% as of the writing of this article over at that park place. And, and before I forget, thank you that park place for putting this article out there. Um, Marvin Montanero, excellent job. John F. Trent, excellent job. If you haven't not checked out that park place, please check them out. They do an excellent job both on their website and on their YouTube channel. Uh, the Acolyte also vanished from the Nielsen Top 10 streaming shows just after just four episodes. That Park Place editor-in-chief John F. Trent also pointed out that Leslie Headland-led live-action series lost 75% of the Star Wars audience that tuned in for the Season 2 finale of The Mandalorian. That's bad. Now, there's been rumors about, you know, Acolyte Season 2. As a businessman... I would not act green light Acolyte season two as a contract creator. Please do Acolyte season two. Please, 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 please. Kennedy has also announced a plethora of Star Wars projects that never saw the light of day. This includes a trilogy by Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson, a Rogue Squadron movie by Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins, a film by Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige, and a film by Game of Thrones showrunners David Benoff and Dan Weiss. With Kennedy's current Lucasfilm contract reportedly set to expire in October, it will be inter interesting to see if Disney renews her or if Lucasfilm might be searching for a new studio head. So there you have it. Kathleen Kennedy, she wants to go out with a bang. But according to her criteria, I don't know if that's going to come anytime soon. It might be more like she's going to go out with a whimper. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. What do you think about this uh, report about Kathleen Kennedy? Do you think she's going to go at the end of her contract? Do you think Disney might decide to find somebody to replace her when her contract's up in October? Who's to say? So again, thank you for everyone that watches my videos, watches my content. Please take the time, if you would, to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys 
Later.